sometimes some strange things can happen in multiple regression. This is one of those cases. Um, so this is an example about um, an HR department that wants to see how salaries are related to employees' age and experience. Um, so you can see the R output there, um, and you can read it sort of the same way you did in the previous chapter. Um, but let's take a second to think about what this is saying. So first of all, what if you wanted to test the overall model to see if anything is the, in the model is useful? Um, what part of the output would you use and what would you conclude? And then what if you wanted to test each individual predictor to see if each predictor is useful? Again, what part of the output would you use and what would you conclude? Um, so you should be getting sort of a contradiction from those two. Um, so after that, think about how is this possible? How could you get this contradiction? To test the overall model, we're going to do an F test. So we can see the p-value for our F test is small. And so this would suggest that the overall model is useful, right? In other words, at least one of the predictors is related to salary. However, when we look at the t-test, so if we were to look at these p-values here, um, both of the predictors have large p-values. So this would suggest that neither predictor is useful. So you may have um, thought of this, or you may have just sort of uh, looked above and see what multicollinearity is about. Um, but basically, this happens when you have variables that are contributing redundant information. So here we have age and experience, um, and those are going to give us some redundant information. Let's look at some graphs here. Um, so this graph up here at the top right is called a scatter plot matrix. Um, and this is nice because you can see how all the variables are related to each other. So this one here, this is showing us the relationship between salary and age. So older people tend to make higher salaries. This one is showing us the relationship between experience and age. More experienced people make higher salaries. But not surprisingly, there's also a strong correlation between age and experience, right? It's not possible to have lots of years of experience when you're young. So all of the variables are correlated with each other. Another important thing is to know that regression is based on adjusted sums of squares. Um, so I have three different graphs here. Um, pause the video for a second and think about which of these represents adjusted sums of squares. So graph B is the best representation of adjusted sums of squares. If we talk about the sum of squares for age, we're talking about the part that is explained only by age and not by experience. Um, and vice versa, if we're talking about the sum of squares for experience, we're talking about the part that is uniquely explained by experience. So let's sort of draw it here. I'm going to draw a box here for age. And if we think about the redundant information, between age and experience, there's going to be a lot of overlap there, right? Because those were very highly correlated with each other. So if we think about drawing this box, we're going to have a lot of overlap and not so much on the edges. So if we were to look at the part that's uniquely explained by age, there's really not that much there, right? So we could say after adjusting for experience, Right, if experience were already in the model, after adjusting for experience, age doesn't give much new information. So we end up with a pretty large p-value for age um, because it's not contributing that much above and beyond experience. Um, and the same sort of thing happens here for experience, this one ends up being a little bit bigger, but it's the same idea. So after adjusting for age, so assuming that age were already in the model, experience doesn't give much new information. So one strategy in this situation um, is just to remove one of those variables, right? So it seems like they're pretty redundant. We don't need both of them. Um, so we can take age out of the model. Okay, so here we've taken age out of the model and I picked age because that was the larger of the two p-values. But we can see when we take age out of the model and we just look at experience, 
So on its own, experience is a useful predictor of salary. Experience is a useful predictor of salary um, because it does have a small p-value, right? It seems like it would be unlikely to get this association just by chance alone.